What we're going to do today, though, we've talked about physical properties and we've talked about chemical properties, but we're going to be looking at two different properties of matter. And what I want you to do as we look at them, I want you to tell me whether these are physical properties or chemical properties. You need to be able to tell me, I think this is a physical property, I think this is a chemical property, but you also need to have evidence to support your idea. You need to be able to explain why you think that. So we're going to look at some different materials here and two different properties. These properties are luminescence and fluorescence. Now what I'm going to want you to do in your journal, I'm going to want you to describe what you observe. Describe what you observe for each property and then afterwards you can tell me if you think they are physical properties or chemical properties. First we're going to look at the property of fluorescence and that's what Jacob's helping me out with. We've got three fluorescent chemicals and those are fluorescein, rhodamine B, and tonic water. So let's look at what it means to have a fluorescent chemical. If we can cut the lights off, and Jacob, I'm going to have you hold our black light just right here. The closer kind of in there that you can get it the better. So what are these chemicals doing under the black light? They're glowing. They're glowing, right? This is the tonic water. It's glowing. What color? Blue. Blue. This is the rhodamine B, which glows pink. It's pink. It's, I've got a, kind of a lot of it in there, so it has kind of an orangish, pinkish look. If it were a little less rhodamine B in there, it would look more pink. But last, we're going to add fluorescein here. And it glows. I wonder if you took the light away from it. Well, I'll tell you what, let's let that soak down in there a little bit and then we'll look at that. So now, right here we just added the fluorescein. What's the fluorescein doing in the liquid? It's dissolving. It's dissolving. Yeah. All right. Now, I don't, want you to, I don't want anybody to say anything about whether you think it's physical change, chemical change. You can be thinking about it, but this is up to you to do kind of on your own. But the fluorescein is dissolving in the water, and as it dissolves, we see that it's doing what? Dissolving. Well, it's dissolving, and what's, what do we notice about the water now? It's turning green. It's turning, green. It's turning that greenish yellow color, and it's glowing. And Jacob asked what would happen if we turned the light off. Let's just uh, time to switch here. So, what, so are these giving off light? No. They're not giving off light, but they do glow under the UV light. We looked at the property of fluorescence. Now we're going to look at the property of luminescence. And to do luminescence, we need several different things. But I have two liquids. I have a blue liquid and a clear liquid. The clear liquid is pretty simple. It's just 25 milliliters of peroxide and the rest water. The first one has five different chemicals, the blue liquid. It has luminol, it has sodium carbonate, it has sodium bicarbonate, it has ammonium carbonate, and it has copper sulfate. So what did we do to all five of those chemicals? Dissolve them. Well, we mixed them together as we dissolve them in water. And when you dissolve a chemical in water, does anybody remember what that's called? Which that's called solubility. Well, that is solubility. Solubility is its ability to, to dissolve, and when it dissolves, it makes a solution. So solubility is just can you use it to make a solution. Hey, we know what solubility is. What's that? I said, hey, we know what solubility is. Yep, there you go. Yes. All right, hopefully you know that already, though, right? Yeah, we already know. But solubility is about its ability to dissolve. So what we're going to do, we're going to look now at fluorescence. And Keviana, if you'll cut the lights off. Now this time we don't need our black light. All right, so to see fluorescence, we have our two solutions. And I've got this funnel here. I'm just going to pour them in very slowly. So as they mix, what kind of energy are they giving off? Light. Light energy. Light energy. Right? So this chemical 
Well, I almost said something. This um, this property, this property of luminescence is giving off light energy as these two solutions mix together. Why does it get brighter if it's on the board in there? And it, when well, it gets lower, it gets less bright. Like it's that's, a, that's a good observation. And what you see down here, right now, right now the liquid that's coming into the flask at the bottom, it's still glowing kind of bright, right? But, but watch it over time, and you'll see it start to not be as bright anymore. You see like a little dark line going through it as it goes down. Yep. And that's the thing. The longer it sits, and it gets non-brighter. Yep. When it goes I don't know why I call it non-brighter. Non when it goes, when it goes down, down, it's smaller, and then when it goes back up, it looks like it's getting bigger. Will you be able to split that up into the chemicals it was at the bottom? Well, we'll, we'll look at it. Is this wrong? We'll look at that. We'll, we'll turn the lights on and look at it, too, when we get done. Are yes? You, are you able to, um, are you able to, if you put the, um, oh, um, okay, the water, Well, remember that glows how? How does, what makes the tonic water glow? Black light. The, the black light. Now, did the tonic water give off light on its own? No. Okay, but does this solution here, as we mix yeah. these solutions, does it give off light on its own? Yeah. Okay, because of the luminol in it. But let's go ahead and cut our lights on and take a look. Oh, it's black. Oh, it's basically making the black light. It's black. Well, it's not a black light, but it, it is very dark colored now, right? Yeah. So we started with our blue liquid yeah. and our clear liquid. Now we have something that looks like Coca-Cola that I would not recommend drinking. <laughs> Can you or should you? Because those are two very should different you? words. You can. You can drink anything in the science lab. Sure. But many things in the science lab you can only drink once. We like you don't tend to drink it all. All right. What Should I want you to do, it? though, write your observation of our demonstration of luminescence. Remember, the fluorescence was with the UV light. The luminescence was by mixing the two solutions.